So in today's web dev tip, we're going to take a look at another JavaScript array method. And this one actually combines two methods that you've already seen together. So the method we're going to look at is the flat map array method. So let's just say you had a variable like this, which has an array of strings inside it. And you might do something like splitting all of the strings into their component character pieces by using the split function. We use the map function to go through each of the strings in the array. And we'll just call each of those item for each callback. And let's say we do something like item.split and split it on an empty white space so that we get all of the component characters inside there. But as you can see in the output on the right hand side, uh, although that has worked, we have got all of the component characters. Uh, they're actually in their individual arrays as well, because this original variable uh, called array uh, has an array of strings inside there. So we've got a nested array now. So you might recall from a previous uh, tutorial that we looked at the flat uh, function as well, the flat method that you can call on an array of items, and that will actually remove any nested arrays inside there, which gives us more of the output that we're kind of looking for. So you might have guessed from the title of the tutorial that we can combine these two methods together by calling a separate function called flatmap. And as the name suggests, it just combines a flat and a map function together. So first of all, we'll do the mapping of the items in the array, and then we'll call the flat function at a depth of one level, which gives us the same output that we had before when we just called map separately and then call flat afterwards. So that's pretty much all the flat map method does. It just takes those two methods and chains them together. Just remember the order of them though. It calls the map function first, and then it calls flat after that. And as with a lot of the other array methods, of course, it doesn't actually modify the original array. So there you go, if you've got a need to map an array and you're returning an array from that map function, you might want to flatten it using the flat map function rather than calling the two functions individually. So that's it for the flat map method. Stay tuned for more web dev tips.